Hey guys, it's Olivia. Um, today I wanted to give you kind of an off-campus housing in Davis 101 video. Um, right when you get back from Christmas break, people start talking about finding off-campus housing and like signing leases and stuff. And it's really confusing and crazy because you're like, I've been here for literally 10 weeks. Like, what do you mean I have to find housing for next year? So I just wanted to give you a timeline of kind of how things work out and some important things you should know. So first off, all leases in Davis can't be signed until March 1st. So if someone is like, oh my gosh, hurry, like if they're in January telling you you need to come and sign a lease, they're probably wrong because the majority of the leases in Davis start March 1st. Um, the colleges in Russell Park, which I'll talk about later, um, they open April 1st, but the majority of them open up March 1st. So usually in January is when you find your roommates, your housemates, who you want to live with next year. February and the end of January is when you start um, touring all the different housing complexes in Davis. And then March is when you sign leases. So first off, finding people you want to live with. Um, you by no means have to live with the roommate that you had this year. If you guys get along and you feel like you can room well together, then yeah, that's fine. But I've seen it probably 50-50, half people live with their roommate from freshman year and the other half do not. I personally did not. Um, but during January is when you kind of want to start thinking about, okay, is there anybody on my floor that I think I could live with next year? Is there anybody on my sports team, in my club, um, my sorority that you think you could live with next year? And remember that when you're in an apartment, you have now a kitchen, you have a living room, you have to clean the bathrooms yourself. Um, so just keep all that in mind. So just make sure you guys fit for like living together. Um, and it's not just, oh, I like hanging out with you, but like actually living together. The next thing you want to do, whether you have your roommates figured out or not, is start looking at the housing complexes in Davis. Um, there is North Davis, Downtown, South Davis, and West Davis, and there's also some, like, right off-campus housing. Um, so, North Davis, that is where a lot of students live, that's where a lot of the apartment complexes actually are. Um, so you would take the J or the K line, the bus line, you got a bus now if you're off-campus, um, take one of those lines, and you basically take Anderson all the way up, and then there's a little, like, circle, and then... There's like a Safeway and like a CVS, Dos Coyotes, Jamba Juice. There's this whole little shopping center and right off of it are all of these apartments. So there's Fountain Circle, Pepperwood, Almondwood, um, Drake's and Anderson, um, Ch Chautauquas, oh Casitas, I think not, yeah, Casitas and Chautauquas, um, I think Sequoia's up there. So there's basically like 10 different apartment complexes in the same little area. Um, and they vary just in terms of, like, how nice they are. Almondwood is a little bit older, as is Sequoia. Um, Casitas and Chautauquas are newer. Um, I know Fountain Circle is a little more expensive. Um, so yeah, there's all those apartments. Um, and a lot of students live there, so that's a good option. So next, there's downtown. Um, there is Lexington Apartments. And then there are a couple other ones that are right by the in and out Um, kind of off of, like, Richards Boulevard, downtown. Um, there's also some on 5th, I think it's 5th and F or 9th and F, I'm not sure, I'm sorry. But a lot of people that live downtown say they like it, um, but the reasons that they like it is because they can just walk to parties or walk to bars and then they're not, like, even if they're drunk, they can just walk back and off to drive. Um, so that's why people like living down there, um, but there are, if you do live by the in and out near, like, Lexington Apartments, um... Keep in mind, a lot of homeless are near there, um, and that in and out is really, really sketch. Um, if you go anytime it's dark, it's really, really sketchy. Um, yeah, a lot of homeless around, so just, if you're a girl, just make sure that you're safe and don't go outside when it's dark by yourself. <laughs> so next is South Davis. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. I know that is where, like, all the Asians live, apparently. I don't know. That is what several people of Asian descent and Asians that are legit, like, from Asia have told me. Um, so, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that's where all the Asians live, apparently. But I know that there's a Safeway over there and a Dos Coyotes. 
um, in Applebee's. And yeah, that's all I really know about South Davis. Next is West Davis, which is where I live. A um, couple different apartments. There's Arlington Farm, Lakeside or Lakeshore, not sure. Um, and then West Village, and West Village is specifically where I live. Um, so Arlington Farm, you'll be getting an email that's like, hey, this is for um, you know, second year students, if you guys want a housing option. Um, I don't remember, I think it was close to like the same amount as the dorms. I'm not sure though, I don't remember. Um, yeah, there's Arlington Farm. Basically, just take Rush Russell over the highway and then go for a couple minutes. It's the D line for bus. Um, so there's Arlington Farm. I think it might be furnished. I don't know. I know a lot of people who live there actually. And there's Lakeside or Lakeshore. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, never been in them, but I do know a couple people who live there. And there's a little shopping center across the street. Um, the only time I've been there, it was dark, so I don't remember exactly what there was, but I think there was shopping nearby. And there's West Village, which is Ramble, Solstice, and Viridian. So if someone just says, like, oh, I live in Rambles, or I'm living in Rambles next year, they mean West Village um, is kind of, like, synonymous um, with each other. But that's the V-Line, and this is technically on-campus housing, so, except for FAFSA, it's, it's not on campus for financial aid purposes, but for every other purpose, it is on campus housing. Um, and I'll be making a whole nother video about West Village specifically. I'll do a, a apartment tour and I will do a pros and, pros and cons list um, for you guys. But yeah, West Village, um, really nice apartments. They're rented by the bed. Um, so, which means there are two to four rooms, depending on what kind of apartment you want, and each person has their own room and bathroom, and then you just share the common area, and, um, so this is basically so you don't have to split the rent a certain way, just your rent is your rent, if your roommate doesn't pay their rent, then they get kicked out, not you, you don't have to cover for them or pay for them, and then there are several housing options that are right off campus, these are much, much, much harder to get into, um, but it's definitely the dream to get into one of these. So first you have the colleges, and that's basically, if you know where the pavilion's at in Hutchinson Field, um, where they do all the intramurals, across the street from that, kind of behind the rec pool, is all this housing. Those are the colleges at LaRue. Um, it's student housing. I'm not sure. I don't think it's through the school. I don't think it's considered on-campus housing, even though it pretty much is. Um, it's just super convenient. There's nothing particularly lovely about the apartments. It's just nice that you're literally across the street from the ARC, across the street from school. And then kind of like near more of the frats, frat circle is Russell Park Apartments. Um, same thing. I don't think there's anything particularly nice about them. It's just nice that they are so convenient and located directly across the street from campus. Also, Trader Joe's is just across the street the other way. And then there's University Court, which is across the street from Trader Joe's, that's more by Quarto Dorms. I think that's also rented by the bed. I think they also have studio apartments, which I might try to do next year. Um, and there's Sycamore, Sycamore Apartments, which are right behind the U-Mall, which is where the Forever 21, Trader Joe's, some like Hawaiian barbecue place. There's that, and there's also Pinion Apartments, which is, like, right when you get off the highway to take, um, Russell from, like, 113 and you start driving, like, towards the school. Pinion apartments are, like, right on the left. Um, they're actually decent. They're actually pretty nice. And there's, like, this nice pool back there. Don't let the weird colors of the outside fool you. Like, I like them. I might try living there next year as well. So those are all the different housing options, um, in Davis. So once you've looked at them... You need to decide, first of all, you need to talk with your housemates and decide, like, where you like best, what your price range is, if you want your own room, sharing room, and how you're going to split up the rent. Um, that is important, and you want to do that before you sign any leases. Um, I was going to live with my roommate and a couple other girls from our floor last year, and then we couldn't decide on how the rent was going to be split. Um, so I was like, fine, you guys, like, live together, and I'll find my own housing. Um... So, like, and that happens sometimes, and it's okay. It was awkward for, like, a day or two with my roommate, but then we're fine. We're still fine. Um, but, yeah, make sure you agree on that kind of stuff. And then March 1st is usually when all of the leases are out. Um, 
yeah, they say, like, come on March 1st and sign it. And you will have to pay, um, like, a down payment or a security deposit, something like that. Um, and, yeah, you just want to do that so that, like, all the apartments don't get taken. Because oftentimes people just renew their leases. And so there's only so many rooms, so many apartments that are going to be empty and available to lease. Um, so just keep that in mind. That's why that's usually why people go out like on March 1st to sign the lease. Now, if you do not find people you want to live with, if you can't really decide on an apartment, if you're not sure where you want to live, that's okay. Because um, what ends up happening is on March 1st, a lot of people end up going out and signing leases, even if they don't have all of the rooms figured out. So then, all of those people post in the UC Davis housing page. Um, make sure you're added to that. It's a group on Facebook. They post in that, and they're like, hey, we're living in, you know, three girls in Sequoia Apartments. We have one bedroom left. We'll be sharing a bathroom. You know, contact us if you want to live here. So that ends up happening. Um... That's how I ended up finding housing. I toured a lot of apartments, met a lot of people, um, just looking for housing that way. Um, so if you're starting, if your search is going into March or during February, like you're not sure where you want to live, it's completely okay. It will work out because, like I said, oftentimes there will be a group of three girls who decide to go sign the lease, and they're like, "Hey, well, we have one more bedroom," or "Okay, I still need a roommate." Um. So that happens, and you just, you know, usually tour the apartment, and then decide if you want to, like, meet all the housemates. So I went and toured West Village, um, and I actually signed my lease before I even knew my roommates, and then I had, I figured out my roommates the rest of the school year, um, and during summer you were able to find them as well using RoomSync, which is what you use to find your roommate for the dorm as well. Um, so that's an option, um if you can't find people to live with right away. So that's basically my like off-campus housing 101. Um, I think those are the important things to know. Just start thinking in January of who you wanna live with and then start touring different apartments. Even if like you and your roommate don't wanna live together, you can still go tour apartments together. Um, figure out how to take the bus lines. If you will be busing, you can bike. I prefer busing. I don't like biking when there's cars on the road. But yeah, do that. And yeah, like I said, most leases come out March 1st. Oh, colleges and Russell Park, the ones that are like right across the street from campus, those leases don't open up till April 1st. So it's a really big gamble if like you don't end up signing a lease somewhere else, try to wait for those and there end up being no apartments. So yeah, I think that's basically uh, what you need to know for now. Like I said, I will be doing a video on the pros and cons of living in Rambles West Village. Um, I, I will also do an apartment tour. I don't know if any of those are on YouTube, but I will do one um, so you guys can see what it looks like. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it's helpful. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, totally comment below. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Good luck with your housing search, and remember to keep dreaming out loud. See you guys next time. Bye.